Hello tubers and groovers and welcome to our first quick tips video from me Jason Bangers and me Mr Chumley Warner. Now what we're going to do, uh, we want to do something a little bit different, we'll do some quick videos, real quick tips on how to improve something you might have, so yeah. That's right, or maybe it may be something you didn't know about a certain piece of gear. But we want to make them uh, educational for you, is that right? Yeah, yeah. So without further ado, shall we start? Right, well what we've got here is, ladies and gentlemen, a, a, you've, we've done a video on it, it's the Vox Mini. Um, Mini 3, I think it's called. Am I, yeah, I think it's the Vox Mini 3, I can't remember. Let's have a look. It's the uh, G3? Mini 3 G2. This is what it comes with. In the back you get um, a little battery pack thus, and um, th although they're only cheap Kodak batteries from a pound shop for which you get about a 20 for a pound, hmm, that will give you eight hours, which ain't bad at all. It's got a 12 volt input socket on the back. So I thought, well if it's 12 volt, why not buy a little 12 volt battery? So this is what I did. I bought this off of eBay. It's a hobby battery, I guess you'd call it. Anyway, it's just um, a power, P Sonic, okay, is that right? Power P Sonic, I think so. Model number PS1212. Yeah. Um, but it is just the right size, look, as you can see, it's tiny. So, all I've done is I put some Velcro on the bottom of it. Um, there's all a bit of Velcro in the in the back here. Let me just try, it's hard to film this, ladies and gentlemen. There, you can see the Velcro there. And very crudely and shrewdly, I might add, the wires, the, the way I connect it. Is rather laughable, but this is what I do. I just bend the old um, neutral round there like that, and then your live one through the same hole through through the live one. But I use this plastic cap to wedge the live on, and that's it. That's all I do, and it don't move. Um, the reason I don't solder them on, well, there's a good reason. Right now, that's ready to go. You stick that in there, put it on the Velcro, get that little strap out of the way because we want that for something else. Put that in, put that on the Velcro, there it is. It's leaning forward at the moment, but even so, it ain't going anywhere, right? You can see that. Now we have, let's just see if it switches on. Find the power button, uh, which is there. Yeah, it's on, as you can see. There you go, the light's on. Now turn it off. Now, the reason we're doing this quick tip is, this will now run non-stop for about a month. And I suppose, especially if you're using it for busking. Busking. You've you got a battery that's going to last, like, as you said, Jay says, forever. And you've got more output power. It's got more ampage, more draw, whereas these little things, um, you know, like if you've got a little amp, you plug it in, it will sound better than when you run out of the batteries. That's because the power supply has got more draw, more push, yeah. Yeah, more amps, yeah. And this thing certainly has. And it holds in there, look. It's, it's not going anywhere. And if I put this little door on, there it is. It's in there. Month's worth of power. A very quick tip from us here at Take the Fear Out of the Gear. Um, from me, Mr Chumley Warner. And me, Mr. Jason Wangers. Don't forget to hit the like, slap the bell, and what else? Subscribe. One more thing. One more thing. One more thing. Is it rechargeable? I'm glad you said that, because I did mention that I didn't solder the wires on. And the reason I don't solder the wires on is because I take it out and I charge it. Now, I've got a really, really cheap motorbike charger, what I bought from Lidl's. That again was £12. It charges that battery in about 45 minutes. So that was quick vid, quick tip number one. We hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you soon on the next one, guys. Ciao for now.